I'm wearing a dirty shirt today, but it's an old shirt um, because we're in the middle of lockdown and trouble, you know. Also, it's another YouTuber's shirt, and I'm not, I won't, I won't, you know, normally I wouldn't do that, but one of the guys depicted on it here is a sneakerhead by his own volition. He said so on the old, uh, one of his uh, other episodes recently, and so I thought, as a show of solidarity on YouTube. We do it, but we've got a shoe today that left its mark in history, you might argue, because it's a Jordan. And you can see that because you can see the 23 here. Here's the Jumpman logo. <coughs> and the shoe is very historic, and I'll show you why. Because it is indeed the Air Jordan 14 last shot now it's called that because michael jordan when he was playing for the chicago bulls took his last shot for the team in this shoe and it was the shot that won the 97 98 nba finals against the utah jazz where he faked out uh, barons Baron, Baron Scott? That's not right. Give me a minute. Yeah, it wasn't Baron Scott. He was a player for the Lakers, you idiot, and me. It was Byron Russell playing for the Jazz, guarding Jordan. Jordan um, moves to the right, comes back to the left. There's an argument he maybe pushed Scott of uh, Scott <laughs> Russell. There's an argument he maybe pushed Russell a bit, but nonetheless, he launched the shot, scored, they won the championship, and he did it in this shoe. So I'm going to uh, give you a little quick look now at the shoe, and then tell you a little bit about it, with a flickering light. Actually, that could cause serious injury. That's fine. Um, it actually looks like I'm doing it by candlelight. Uh, anyway, um, <coughs> it's locked down, we can't get a new light, so that's there. Um, but uh, so to say a little bit about the shoe, you can see the logo here is very sort of different. The jump man's inside the yellow circle uh, in the thing, in the sort of uh, diamond shield shape thing. And that's supposed to be similar to the Ferrari logo with the prancing horse on the yellow background. The reason being this is designed to look like Michael's favourite Ferrari that he owned at the time, which I believe was the 330 Marinello. That's not right either, is it? It was the 550 Marinello, so close but wrong. Anyhow, so that's why that looks like that. And of course, you've got the lines on the shoe, which is supposed to represent the, um, obviously the lines of the car, I believe, they have the lines on the side. And then you've got, um, on the back, it's almost like a, a license plate number with the 23 and the logo. And on this side, what's particularly car-like and particularly mid-engine sports car-like, the little air vent there like you would get in a Ferrari on the side for the engine cooling in the mid-engine. So that's interesting. These as well at the front, these some, in some of the shoes they came in carbon fibre, sort of fake carbon fibre trim, these little bits, uh, which again represents the car. So basically it's based on that Ferrari that Michael drove and was his favourite car. And you can see that throughout the entire design. <clears throat> it's a lovely sort of grained leather here and both sides of the upper we've got a bit of suede cloth type of fabric here which um yeah i guess would be like the seats in a an expensive car um, and it goes on both sides although there isn't this central pillar on this side it's just the above the um leather again the suede material comes across the toe box 
as you would expect in a shoe. We've got nice herringbone here and I like the um, little red button with the 14 in it, which I think is a bit like a starter button on a, on a sports car. I don't know if I'm not, I don't think that uh, Ferrari had a starter button though. I think it was key start, but I'm sure somebody can tell me who knows more about the uh, 550 Marinello. So I also like that there's this uh, piece of the midsole which comes is exposed here and you can feel it. It's quite soft coming through. And then you've got your sort of um, metallic painted part here that's also underneath which looks like this sort of underneath um, design of a sports car where you would get the um, diffuser and, uh, and splitter in other words, diffuser isn't it, and the, and the sort of uh, corrugated sort of metal underneath that you would get. <coughs> so all in all, yeah, I'm a big fan of the design of this shoe and uh, just a big fan of the shoe. It's one of my favourite Jordans in, in terms of design because it has that link to you know, one of, so one of the, probably the premier sports car maker in the world, arguably, and certainly makes the most beautiful cars, but we could certainly argue that. And so, yeah, big fan of the shoe. Very, very nice. Very, very comfortable. And with that, I will say thank you very much for having a look at my shoe today. It's the Jordan 14 last shot. Thank you.